As much as I love Thanksgiving, and I do, the only thing I don't love is soggy stuffing. My friend Sarah Chase gave me the idea to do a deconstructed turkey, do the stuffing on the sides and stuff mushrooms. So the first thing I'm doing is taking the caps off 16 big mushrooms, just take them off like that. And later I'm gonna chop them up and put them into the stuffing. So the caps go into a big bowl, just to marinate them a little bit. Mushrooms really can absorb any flavor because they really don't have much flavor themselves. So I'm gonna put about three tablespoons of olive oil and then two and a half tablespoons of marsala. It's a wonderful sweet dessert wine. It's very often used in zabayoni. You can use sherry if you don't have it. Okay, give it a big toss. And that's gonna really absorb the flavors into the mushrooms. Okay, in the meantime, I'm gonna make the stuffing. Two tablespoons of olive oil. Three quarters of a pound of Italian sausage. I'm using sweet Italian sausage, but you can certainly use hot if you like it hot, or combine the two. It's good and messy, but it makes delicious stuffing. I'm just gonna let this cook until it's nicely browned. I'm just gonna wash my hands. So this is gonna cook for about eight to 10 minutes. I'm just gonna crumble it up with a wooden spoon just to make sure it's nicely browned. And then I'm gonna add lots of delicious things. But first, I'm gonna chop some mushroom stems, the ones that I took off, and just put them right in. I'm gonna use the whole mushroom. There's no reason to let this go to waste. This is a great thing to make in advance, actually, for Thanksgiving. You can assemble the whole dish, put it in the refrigerator, and then just pop it in the oven before dinner. Okay, big rough chop, doesn't have to be perfect. Right into the cooked sausage, and now lots of flavors. I've got six scallions all chopped up. You want this to be really spicy and delicious. Two cloves of garlic minced. Just give that a quick saute. And now instead of putting bread in this stuffing, I'm gonna put panko in, which is dried Japanese bread flakes. And I just think they give a nice crispness to it, which is just what I'm looking for. So about two thirds of a cup. That should be good. Give it a big stir. This is really smelling like good stuffing. Smell the sausage and the garlic and scallions and some mascarpone to make it nice and creamy and hold it together. So I need about five ounces. I think this package is eight and three quarters, so good part of this package. I always use good Italian mascarpone. It makes a difference. Mascarpone is a really creamy Italian cheese. You can probably find in the refrigerator section of your grocery or especially food store. I always try and find the Italian one. I just think it has more flavor. Okay, now off the heat, I'm gonna add two more things and some salt and pepper. First one is Parmesan cheese. And I'm just doing that off the heat because I don't want the Parmesan to stick to the pan. So about a third of a cup of Parmesan cheese. That should be good. And some fresh parsley. About two and a half tablespoons. And then salt and pepper. A teaspoon of salt. You want this really well seasoned, because remember, the mushrooms don't have all that much flavor. It's kind of like polenta. It absorbs whatever flavor you give it. So that's the stuffing. Looks delicious. Now I'm going to put it in the mushrooms. So I'm just going to roasting pan, put the mushrooms in, and then stuff them with the stuffing. Perfect pan. Great. And I think I'm just going to drizzle the extra olive oil and marsala wine over it. Mm. Okay, time to stuff the mushrooms. Just a regular teaspoon, just stuff each one. And so when this bakes, it's gonna be just tender and delicious and spicy with the sausage. Have so much flavor from the marsala wine and garlic, parsley. So the top's gonna get nice and crunchy and delicious. And the inside's gonna be really moist. So these are gonna cook at 325 degrees for about 50 minutes. And I made it that temperature because the turkey roasts at the same temperature. But if you're doing it with loin of pork, I mean, there's no reason you can't do it without a turkey. Doing it with loin of pork, you can roast it at 400 degrees. Just do it for a little less time. Into the oven, 325 degrees. I can't wait till these come out. Mm. 
and after 50 minutes, this is what you get. Gorgeous stuffed mushrooms, crusty on the top, juicy. Whoever said life's too short to stuff a mushroom couldn't have been more wrong, but life's definitely not too short to eat one. How beautiful is that? Mmm. The sausage is spicy. You can really taste the Marsala wine. This will be perfect for Thanksgiving. Mmm.